or dishonest. I was trained by, amongst others, Charles Cassin, Mohammed, Bezos. They taught me to be honest in this profession. Lord, I, I, no, no, I'm just telling you who I am. My Lord, I'm, I'm also a, an, an, an advocate. Yeah, fine. Please don't answer me, please. I'm also defending the accused. Yeah, fine. I raise an objection on the basis of fairness. I have a right also you, to stand up fine. and raise that objection. Fine, you have. We all have different experiences. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay, we come back at two. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know I know a lot of you guys will say Judge Ratama Hwatlang said that he has never been accused before or of crook or, or of any dishonesty, right? There's something in those words, there's something that I want us to explore. But I also want us to look at this from this perspective, right? He says he was taught honestness. He was taught that he needs to be honest all the time, right? And he has never been accused. Two words that I want us to just, I want us to interrogate these two words. I've to, I was taught to be honest. I was taught to be, um, I was taught to be, oh, I've never been accused. The first question that you need to understand, let's, let's, let's take the word, I've never been accused, right? We don't even know whether or not that is true. You know why? Because, it, you know, generally, as, a, as citizens, right, in, in our record, as far as the correctional service is concerned, we might, I'm, I'm generalizing, or let me just say, you, gay, you might not have a criminal record, but that doesn't mean that you have never been behind bars. You might have been arrested by the police and you got a warning from the police, right? So you probably slept there from Friday and you were released Sunday or Monday. But the fact or the fact is you have been on the wrong side of the law. It's just that your your case was so light that it was look it, it just it was easier for mediation before it could go up to a, a, a local to a court of law right so you can therefore say mina i've never been on the wrong side just because there is no or in your name or next to your name there is no criminal record you can't in, in other words i'm trying to say or i'm trying to argue this we don't know possibly there might have been accusation against the judge which might have been solved in the chamber so just because he was never convicted of that, it doesn't necessarily mean he was never accused, right? So we must be clear on this too, right? He will, you, you look, probably he was accused, but he, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, please use the word allegedly, probably he was accused, but it was sorted out in the chamber so it did not get out there in the public so we don't have the record for that right if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so now that you understand that let's go back to look it's accusation i've never been accused and i've been honest now 
Guys, we all know when we say somebody is honest, you can never be honest and yet fail when it comes to transparency, when it comes to fairness. For the mere fact that you are saying you've been taught to be honest, you've been taught in look that characteristics, guys, it's a fact. A, you will never find a person who's got these characteristics but lacks on the following. You can never be honest yet fail to fail to treat people fair and uh, look fail to be transparent. Usually honest goes with that. Now, so let's look at what the judge says versus what the judge is doing versus what the judge uh, does on a daily basis in court, right? Now, look at how he treated the state versus the defense look at how he treated the witnesses being brought by the state and please just from look analyzing his behavior please tell me if indeed he was honest in how he dealt with that then we can we don't need to find other cases that are just far we just look at the case of Senzo Meiwa under Judge Ratamo Huatleng started on, if I'm not mistaken, the 17th of July, 2023. So you can look at um, the judge from that date up to to date, right? And look at how he has treated other people and tell me if indeed has he been fair? Indeed, has he been honest? Indeed, has he been uh, uh, look, faithful? Has he been transparent? So the idea that the honorable judge has never been or has taught has been taught to be fair, it doesn't necessarily mean that he has been fair. Two different things. You've probably been taught maths, but you don't know maths. So being taught maths doesn't equate to you knowing maths. <laughs> those are two different those are two different things. Two, it's a world of two different things, right? So do not confuse the two. You are probably be, uh, the judge has been taught to be honest and like everybody else you get into any institution you got told you get told uh these are the policies these are the things to look or not, not to do these are the things to do but guess what people do the exact thing that they were taught not to do so right so we can't rely on what they were told uh, in, in order for us to judge them but we've got to look at their behavior versus the policy and say based on your behavior and our policy is is your behavior aligning to our policy and if we find you wanting irrespective of what we told you you are still have to be you still have to be fired so it's the same we cannot look that we can not look at the judge's behavior on the local look, having the idea that he was taught to be honest but we must look at his character personality on a day-to-day -day basis and how he deals with the case of Senzo Meiwa and from there we can judge it for ourselves if indeed he is honest this is not a matter of what he was taught this is a matter of what he's practicing right because we're not going to be judged we're going to we're not going to judge him based on what he was taught we will judge him based on what uh, based on what we see based on how he conduct himself himself on a day to day basis so that is i think uh, for me i find it to be very funny when that was mentioned right so i want to read some of the comments that were made uh, i will also continue with mine as well advocate tim sholo at marumo under at marumo 179 advocate tim sholo remind me of uh, remind me of advocate Perry rocks the one who was representing oscar pretorius she is a, she is a lioness fearless boom that's what she wrote not me uh oh at tim's underscore twinkie look at his face he addresses him sholo look look at his face when he uh, as he addresses him sholo rata can't even hide that he dislike her i am glad she 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 st uh, uh, she stated her case to and didn't fold arms the fact that they judge well, oh look, I don't even know how to place it in English, how to say it in English. Um, the fact that the judge was that, that part, that part, 
that part, guys, I, I, it, it doesn't give me peace. And when that part where the where the judge says that that part, that part doesn't give me peace. Just that that portion, that portion doesn't give me peace. Let, let me repeat this one. That part doesn't give me peace. Somebody says, "Etinguana uh, underscore ma." Mshololo must take must take this further. This is some sort of uh, uh, harassment. This judge has been abusing her far too long. Now, right? Uh, it is a Funko X. Advocate Mshololo to judge Rata in a nice way. Be look, be it as it may, but don't disrespect me, which I. Honestly, I agree. You know, the other time, guys, I requested bold, right? Uh, so, you know, I'm coming from my own place and I just want to get home. And this driver is angry, shouting at me. And, you know, I, I called the guy and I was, listen, if you don't want to pick me up, drop the local, cancel the ride. You have no business disrespecting me. I don't disrespect you. I respect people, right? I want people to be respected. It is irregardless of the job or irregardless of their job description, right? So you do not have the right to disrespect me. So it's the same here. I feel like Advocate Tim Shololo, look, I understand Advocate Tim Shololo because I think, look, I have a problem with people who sometimes when they are in power, they think they have the right to disrespect other people in other words i'm saying just because of your resume or look just because of your history just because of your experience it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to disrespect your juniors no not at all but it means that you for the fact that you you have that experience it means you must use that experience in protection of the juniors it means that you must protect the ones that are below you. You have the responsibility to protect them because you have got an experience, right? Let me continue. I don't care about your experience. I'm also an advocate. Tell me some time. Underscore. I get you. Tell me some time. Oh, 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 tap school. Uti, Judge Rata told him Shololo his entire resume, and him Shololo just shut that down by, I am also an advocate. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What, 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 what an interesting one. What an interesting one. But again, what's your take about this thing of, uh, of course, what, what, what we are seeing here when U advocate. Shalom. When 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 the judge who judge Ratam uh, gave his experience, I, 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 in a way, it might be interpreted as if you are trying to intimidate the junior by telling them the, the, the your length of experience, so they can feel inferior and thus subject or thus submit to you. Whether or not you are right, you just want people to submit to you and respect you. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that could be the problem. Um, maybe other people can testify as well. Uh, probably you probably have a similar similar situation at work where you might have been uh, somebody might have scared you at work by telling them telling you about their number of years uh, working for that company or working for that department and how they then use that to intimidate and subject you and force you into submission and you know i will say this uh we learn this me i'm a christian so i go to church so i was a church this is what we learn we learn that the best type of leadership is influential leadership than instructing leadership let me explain this i did explain i i, I did say this on my video but let me explain it a little bit now so that you can get the context you see we were raised by parents who always told us i'll give an example uh you when you eat right and then you sleep we were told yeah a tree is gonna grow out out of your stomach right and we're sitting here today like not understanding you know understanding the nature and all the stuff you kind of feel like it's your agriculture you kind of feel like how was that possible that 
out of my stomach a tree will grow just because i slept after eating food do you get, do you get the point <laughs> yes we are good <laughs> if you are not an african hey, you are missing out <laughs> if you are not you can't be an african but if you are not black uh you're missing out hey tina we were told <laughs> hey tina we were told <laughs> If we are wearing a, if, if, for instance, you are sweeping your house, right? And then I, I walk in. So you will be told that if you are sweeping this thing into my feet, and then um, dogs are going to chase me. Um, I'm not going to get married because of the fact that you just swept this uh, thing into my feet and all this stuff. Instead of just saying, hey, when you make that, that's the other person who get dirty as a result of your actions, right? To, to know, we're told that this is going to happen, we're not going to get married, and blah, blah, blah. Things like that, right? That's the older generation, right? So, um, we, we, there were strange things that we were told, right? I'll give an example about the one where a, a tree will grow out of your stomach. <laughs> There are many guys comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you were told by your parents, right? So these parents, right? When you ask them how this one got, they will look, they will they, they did not want us to um to interact or ask questions. Whenever you ask them questions, you are the rebellious one. You must stop that, right? You are the rebellious one, right? Do you remember that? <laughs> now we come we come from that, right? So then um there's this generation where, uh, okay, the, the generation they were instructed today when you ask them certain things, why do you do this? They don't have an explanation, right? Because they never, they were never allowed to ask the question, why? Now, the influential leadership says you must discipline people, but not in an authoritative and instructive manner, but discipline them. Don't forget, to, to, don't, don't mind us discipline. Discipline your children. But then, you must influence them, allow them to ask questions and answer questions in a respectful way and a friendly way, right? So, if you are looking at things that are happening in court, sometimes it's just that, um, that's what I'm just seeing here. But Ujaja Rata Shame is holding on to this idea that, you know what, I wish that things were back in the days where, you know, we just instruct people, instruct people without people interacting and asking questions. Questions that it might make you uh, feel uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying, when a, a five-year-old child asks you a question. Uh, you're saying if I slip down, a tree is going to come out of my stomach, but agriculture, having gone into agricultural classes, that doesn't make sense right please explain that now you will be embarrassed <laughs> right that's why we spoke about influential leadership where whatever you whatever your child is learning you need to counter it by uh, influencing the child interacting with the child so that you can gain his trust or her trust and then be able to swing things right look away from what uh, she or he's being taught at school. You will only win that by influencing this child, allowing or creating that space where a dialogue can happen, but in a respectful manner. Don't forget that, right? Uh, so that is what I am seeing what we are lacking in court. We think that uh, respect is when it is from the defense to the judge, but we don't necessarily say that respect must also come from the judge to the defense because this is a two-way street. It's not a one-way street, right? There is an example that I'm going to make to you guys. Some of the example that these people who reasons like oh about 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 about, about, about judge rata they used to uh, they used to think right um they used to think oh they think not they used but they think in a certain way that a way that is weird when you look at it you're like mm, this is weird here is another perfect example about people who are coming from the era Ega judge rata um i will show you an example so usually they will court in the Bible, they will say, as per Deuteronomy chapter uh, 20, uh, look, starting from, look, I think it, I'll, I'll get it for you, where it speaks about children, honor your parents and all the stuff. Often, and most of you guys will testify, we have often be called, look, we have often be told about that verse, and it is the most verse that is quoted by our parents. But our parents never quoted a verse 
that con- that warns them about abusing children. I'll give an example about it. Two, that warns them. One, it is found in the book of Ephes- look, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4. And the other one is found in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 21. But I will start with the one in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4. It reads as follows. In the King James Version it says, And ye fathers, uh, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring up in bring up in, in, in the nature and admission of the Lord. And then, uh, in other words, um, you, look, if you read it you know, or, or in an NIV version, it will say, uh, do not provoke your children to anger or to wrath, but rather nature them and discipline them in a loving and a humble manner, right? And then you, the one in Colossians chapter uh, 3, 21, it says, Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged, right? Uh, now, here's a point that I'm making here. I, I want to show you something here. People or, or local people in Judge Ratama um, uh, as world, they, they think very much differently. I'm going to show you something. Uh, let's start. Let's look at this from this one. Uh, I'll show you something, right? Don't worry. Now, the Deuteronomy chapter 20, right, verse verse 12, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Right. So then, if it goes down from verse uh, 13 to those that don't read the Bible, it says, Thou shalt not kill. 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. 15. Thou shalt not steal. 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 17. Thou shalt not covet thy, look, thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, uh, nor his main servant, nor his... Look, okay, let's leave that one. Uh, but again, yeah, here's the point. All of us can attest that our parents knew, knows this verse. They know that there's a verse in the Bible that says children must honor their parents. So they use this verse to manipulate us, making us to think that if we don't obey what they are saying, then we are dispo- obeying God himself, right? They have even gone to a point where they elevate themselves to the position of God. They will even say, Parents are uh, your God. And I always say, guys, where do you get that? Where do you get that our parents are God? Where do you get But our parents play a very important role in our lives, but they are not God. Let's just clear that one out. They play a very important role in our lives, but they are not God. Let, let's clear that. Now, so what the point I was making is that they know the verse in Exodus chapter 20, um, right? Verse 12. Uh, honor your mother, uh, honor your parents and your blah, blah, blah. But they don't know the other ones that says, eh, eh, but parents, do not provoke these ones. You know, so <laughs> in other words, they create a, a, a one-way traffic, right? It's about what we tell you. It's about what we want from you. It's not about, <laughs> that. that's a fact. It's not about, right? Um, it's not about, uh, us living in harmony. So if we are to live in harmony, let us respect each other's opinion. And let me show you another example. This one, I've seen some of the people who are married, uh, or some people who are married, I've seen them being taught this, which I said then, I said to myself, um, where do you get that? Right, I mean, I'll, I'll show you something. Uh, today we are busy exposing <laughs> people's marriage, right? <laughs> now, Okay, I want to ask you something, right? This is me diagnosing or exploring the concept or the way these people think, the, 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 the likes of which are saying, right? Now, tell me something, right? Ha- you, you, haven't you heard a person who doesn't, who's not even a Christian say, Yo, it is written in the Bible that you, women, you must submit to me, the husband. Have you, haven't you heard something like that? Right? The, the thing is that, when it is spoken of, it sounds like one way. Until you read the Bible itself, you feel like, ah, uh-uh, it's two ways. It's not a one-way thing. You see what I'm saying? So often, people will feel like, ah, the Bible is enslaving us. It talks about us uh, submitting, 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 submitting. But when does it speak about us? I'm just going to, I'm making an example. So people in the era 
of Abu Shachim They used to manipulate everything. They're everything. The Bible and the culture, they used to manipulate them, manipulate it to suit their, their ambitions so that they can be respected. I'll show you an example. If you if you read Ephesians chapter 5, ne, the heading is title can marriage cancel, right? It says uh, uh, submit yourselves to one another. Okay, let's leave that one. Now, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husband and as unto the Lord. So, in other words, it says that, okay, let's, let's, let, let me read verse, verse, uh, verse 22 and 23. Look, there's something that, the, the point that I'm, I'm making here. It says, Wife, wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Um, he is the savior of the body. So the, the concept is that the hus your husband is the head. Okay, today I know we are busy contesting. People wants to be the head and blah, blah, blah. Uh, in a natural way, the husband is the head. That's what I believe, right? And that's what I can stand for. But there is a, a, a danger where you find people then. Uh, <laughs> for Now, listen. I need to, verse 22 and 23 says, husbands, a wife, submit yourselves unto your husband. And then that's verse 22. Verse 23 says, uh, your husband is the head. It ends there. There's no question mark. I when the husband, uh, husbands, submit, look, husbands, um, the wives, submit yourselves unto your husband. Verse 23, your husband is the head. Full stop. It doesn't ask questions. Full stop. It ends there. In verse 25, this is when now you see that, oh, this is a two-way street. It's not a one-way street. In verse 25, it says, right? It says, husbands, love your wives, right? Even as Christ loved the church, right? And gave himself for it. So now, you get this now to say, oh, so when a, when a person says, submit, they must, also for, they must also remember the other part that says, love. Because a commandment is given to the wife and a commandment is given to the husband. But in the olden days, people will manipulate everything to make it look like, uh, to make it look and uh, to suit the narrative. That's the word I was looking for. So those people are very difficult to engage with because the way they think, the way they pursue things, the way they perceive things, it's if you don't respect, if you don't obey my authority, it means that you are a disobeying person even when you ask them the right question, right? Oh, now, the reason we are here, it is because we are just looking, or we were following, uh, look, we were, I, I was taking you into a journey of people in the era of Judge Rata Mokhwateng used to think this way. They will manipulate culture, Bible, to make sure that and they get away with a lot of things. But uh, me seeing a lot of things happening today and I'm sitting there and I'm like, wait, a judge to me is a father. A judge to me is supposed to be impartial. A judge to me is supposed to be this person that uh, I look at how he conduct his uh, court and be like, wow, wow. Even when a person whom I wish should not get sentenced but when that has happened I want to go through that and be like hey yeah you know he's sentenced but wow the judge got ours fair but I can't say the same in the Mayiwa case I want to I wanna be honest why you know I was about to make a video this judge disappointed me. I was about to make a video, and the video was about the judge, pe the judge's performance over the like it's been a week. He has been behaving very well. He has been trying to be honest. Uh, hi, I don't know what happened. Ooh. We we're not asking him to always favor the defense. That's not what we are asking, but we are asking that what we see on the left. Can it just be the same that we see on the right? That's all we're asking, right? What we are asking is how you treat everybody in court. Let it be the same. We don't want Nshololo being ba, 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 too much. You know, uh -uh. we don't want that. We just want things to be fair for everybody. 
so that we all people in court must all feel that no we get the same treatment and i don't know i've never been a judge but it's a perception that i think a lot of us have in our minds to say no we are looking for a person that is oh if you are a judge you are this person that is fair straightforward transparent and honest you treat people equally you don't get involved in things that doesn't involve you you look like the judge he, he gets or he takes us into the r versus hepworth a case right where the judge is allowed to enter the arena but when he enters the arena he must enter the arena with the purpose and exit the arena as soon as possible because the arena is not about him his responsibility is to listen ahead of argument or anything cross-examination or cross-examination or everything between the two and after they have made their cases and submitted all their argument and all the stuff then he is to rule so it is important um and we understand and understandably so that he needs to enter the arena but how he does it it is also very important and the uh, to whom does he interrupt? It's also important. That's the, oh, those are the things that we can look into and be like, hmm, we see you favoring this one, but we don't see this one. We see him becoming so hostile towards Mshololo, but we don't see the hostility towards uh, Advocate Baloy. Why? We don't see the hostility towards um, Nisi. Why? You know what I'm saying? Those are questions that, if not answered, they bring the name the judicial the judicial name into a disrepute and i don't think the judicial system at large i don't think that is what they are looking for so we're not you know me here in this channel people will tell you um those who know um and those who are honest when the judge is okay like i did a video and i was like i'm very happy with the behavior of the judge i was about to make the second one i'm like i've been looking at his behavior I'm, I'm very happy with his behavior, but then he disappoints me. So what am I going to say? Am I, am I supposed to say um, he's right? No, we're not going to say that here. We are honest here. We are going to deal with matters honestly and nothing more, nothing less. We are going to deal with like that. So um, that's why then I, 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 look, I looked at the concept of him being honest and blah, 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 which I don't understand if he is indeed <laughs> I, I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know you you have to convince me that he is as he is saying he is but as though so from where i'm seated i don't think so but i don't know it's me you know i'm a man born under sin subject to correction maybe you think differently get onto the comment section below Tell me what you think, right? And don't forget as well, you guys, my birthday is growing nearer and nearer. On the 2nd of March, it's going to be my birthday. And I would have loved to see this channel sitting comfortably at 40,000 subscribers. The power is in your hands. You've got to do it and you've got to make it happen. And it is going to happen. So, 36,300 subscribers as of now. Next month, we need to speak something differently. Come on, good people. Come on. So do subscribe, like the video, and click the notification bell. Don't forget, if you want to donate to the channel, guys, make use of the banking details. Uh, my, it's for my media company. Turn the way to see media company. I know a lot of you guys will ask me a question. Bongs, out of every name, why am I turned away to see? Well, very simple. It's my clan name. So, so it's that simple. So you know. <laughs> so don't come and be so. Uh -uh. It's my clan name. It ends there, right? <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you allegedly. You guys, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, until that next video, good people, please take care.